What's up, man? It's LL Paul coming with a video for you guys. 1752 treaty. And I got to mention a few names and stuff. I was doing the video and I end up start speaking Spanish. And then I said, oh, I have to redo it. <laughs> and it just fluently came across. I don't know how I do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <sighs> We're just going to speak Mi'kmaq. I got to learn a little more. I got a word at a time. But I'm just speak, speaking of the Mi'kmaq. I'm so friggin' proud of our people all uniting like how we have down in Digby. Man, awesome. Digby and surrounding areas. And like a few wharfs down there. I was in Sonyanville chilling out down there working. The front gate, man, you know, frontliners. And it was awesome, man. I'm real proud. Proud of all the people. I'm not going to throw names around there. I was going to do some shout outs, but I, I'm going to do, I got to write them all down because if I meet one person, I leave one person out, I feel bad. I personally do. I feel right terribly bad about missing out on one person's name. So I'm going to be really careful on this. Oh, I just noticed and I look because I'm reviewing myself, but everything's backwards. But, and the B is backwards and all that stuff. But, anyways, I don't wear these type of hats. I usually ball baseball hats. But I'm going to wear this one for this video. Like I said, unity is our strength. Because, man, I've seen so many people down there, mostly all from different reserves and everything, man. So, yeah, man, I was really proud. Like, like I've, I was always lived proud anyway, but when I come into an event like that to help, 12 of us went all together, and each one of us were from a different reservation. That's cool, man. That's really cool. And, and it's so sad that this has to happen like that. We only get, you should see our boats. There's like, we get a few boats, and they're just small boats. And we got a couple of bigger ones, not huge, like theirs. And they got like whacking them, whole whack of boats. And then I see this violence all of a sudden. The wives are up there making a sandwich or whatever, whatever they're doing. They're making sandwiches or soup. They can cook, that's for sure. And, you know, the fishermen are coming back probably at a certain time. And I don't know much about fishing. I'm not a fisherman. I'm not, a, I'm not a politician. I don't know nothing about that. I just didn't like a bully. The bullies, several of them, going down and picking on women. Just a few women down there. I'm like, what? What's this going on? Pissed me right off. And I'm, ah. And I'm type like Don Burnstick through the YouTube. Not using YouTube? But anyways, he did a shout out for all the Mi'kmaq people. Like, and he's a professional comedian. Like, I'm just a, I just do videos for fun, just to make my people around here laugh. And he said something that I say on quite a bit of my videos. I don't swear. I don't like to swear on videos because I have, I have, but I usually warn people towards the beginning of my video, I'm going to be upset in this video and you might hear some cursing. So if you don't like cursing, turn it off. But I did get to meet a lot of people, and it was really cool. All, all different reserves. And from my reserve, Millbrook First Nation, I get to see a couple people from down there. And there's a lot of them down in the other boat. They're out fishing. I said, right on, cool. And, but I couldn't understand why all this hatred over 1% of lobster. I said, come on, man. I said, you got 99% of the lobster, and, and you're complaining about 1%? I said, to me, that's just a race thing. Didn't want the natives down there having nothing. Didn't want us there. Oh, because we, you know what? We can fish, hunt, sell stuff, like fish and hide, all that stuff since hundreds of years ago. You know, and that was our, our right. We can do this. 1752 was the first treaty. 1999, it was, it was protected, that treaty. And I just know enough to explain a little bit. And the rest of the politician people can break it down. Because I don't know the whole big thing, right? I don't know all the politics stuff. I don't know much, much about fishing either, to be honest. Like, 
but I was there for support and I couldn't believe how many other people showed up all from all over in every province. If the ones from British Columbia could make it, they'd be there too. 1752, I know it's backwards to you, but I'll read it. As natives are not smart nowadays, it looks like I can read. Okay, 1752, the Tsar Treaty that protected us um, as people to do what we got to do. Okay, 1752, number four. It is agreed that the said tribe of Indians shall not be hindered from, but have, have been hindered from, but have free liberty of hunting and fishing as usual. The said Indians shall have free liberty to bring for sale to Halifax or any or any other settlement within this province skins feathers fowl fish or any other thing they shall have liberty to dispose thereof to the best advantage hashtag indigenous life matters is indigenous lives matter Holy tongue got tied on that one. Respect our rights. Hashtag respect our rights. And hashtag make my nation proud. And we're so proud to see all the other nations and other reservations. Hey, that rhymed. Ha! Huh? Sound like a professional rhymer. <laughs> Rapper. And pretty soon they're going to start calling me Tupac. You know why? Well, I got two packs of cigarettes. <laughs> uh, oh, one, this one is just about a, uh, that was a donation from uh, the women in the kitchen area, outside kitchen area. We had this set up so cool, man. It's just one thing I felt a little uncomfortable when they dropped the things, but that was an injunction thing. I don't know nothing about the courts and laws and all this stuff. I just know the 1752 somewhat, and I read it right there. Um... It was really cool just to see all the people come together like that and stand as one. And it was just like automatically family. And like like half arguing sometimes, not arguing. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. Oh, I'm sorry, it's your cigarettes. Oh, that's not that's their drink there. Mine right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. See, this is our extent of our arguments down there. They want a friggin' brawl. 300 of them against seven women? Come on, man. You know we're coming, racing on the way down there. Came with five car loads, and the un unity is strength. Digby strong, Mi'kmaq strong, Ilnu strong, countrywide, all of Canada, all of Turtle Island. I've seen shout out from Don Bernstein, he's a comedian, and like I said, and uh, I seen I seen uh, shout outs. From Australia, was people standing up for us, man. There was a protest. Not a, it's a peaceful protest they did somewhere in Sydney, Australia. I think it was Sydney. There's another big city in Australia down there, too. I seen um, Don Bernstein, the comedian. He was doing his video saying, you know, you guys be safe down there all the way from Alberta somewhere. And I'm like, right on, man. That's cool. And I'm hoping sometime, you know, maybe my YouTube will blow up like his. Like, I'm 50 years old and I'm trying to, you know, I'm not really trying to get famous, but I just like making people laugh. Humor and laughter is real good medicine for the heart. Because imagine you're pissed off all day. Me, me. Nobody wants to live like that, you know? Truthfully, deep down, I know the ones that are even like that would rather laugh. So I do clean humor and unreserved, you know? I can go with my neighbors. Excuse me, can I borrow a few tea, tea bags? Oh, yeah, here, man. Handful. Hook you up. And that's when we were hurting for money, like I'm talking about early 90s or something like that, late 80s. And. Uh, just I'm all over the place with this, but I'm so proud to be Ilnu and to see all, all of us come together as one. One love, united in Digby. 
And I see the guy standing up in Caledonia. Give me a holler. I like, I'll try to find a way on the road hitchhiking. <laughs> I'll be there. But I want to say something from a friend of mine. Straight off, get. I should have started. I saw he's, he has his own tattoo shop. He's a wicked artist. He, uh, his name is Troy Lane. You can look him up and he's got Infamous Ink. Uh, the Treaty Hustle. Okay, Infamous Ink is his tattoo parlor and does wicked art. Like I have make my tattoo right across my chest, but I'm not going to show my muscly chest. I don't need, this is about a serious subject. I don't need girls fainting. <laughs> oh, cold. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Infamous Ink is his tattoo shop. The Treaty Hustle hoodies. I want one. I want the one with the warrior flag. I just, you know, tell me how much, man. I gotta go on the hustle. I'm actually waiting for a couple of people to do send an e-transfer to my mother because I don't know how to do it. I really don't. So they're going to send it to her and she's going to give me the money. She'll go down to the bank and get the money out. Hi, Mom. This one is sound like a famous guy. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for everybody. Uh, welcome me in. Welcome me in. I'm uh, doing well. And a lot better than I was through the summer. I lost my grandmother and I went crazy. Uh, struggle. The struggle is real. But you guys, you know, man, don't be shy to support our brother, Troy. He lived only a couple of houses from me when we were growing up. Uh, He's always, his whole family, him and his brother are wicked artists. You can draw anything really cool. Like really, like the one of the hoodies got a, a bulldog. I'm sure he drew, drew that and all that sweat. And it's professionally done. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Peace out, much love. Dig be strong, Mi'kmaq strong. Yes! <laughs> LL Paul, subscribe, please.